Locals feared a tsunami after the 4.4 magnitude quake hit the Helena region of Kilauea. The epicenter was close to the erupting Kilauea volcano, where lava flows are moving at a fast rate. The epicenter of the earthquake occurred 5 miles 8 kilometers south of the crater of Kilauea and struck at 5.40 p.m. local time on Monday, 7.40 a.m. British summertime Tuesday. However, the earthquake did not prompt a tsunami warning, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said. A statement issued by the National Weather Service said, no tsunami is expected. However, some areas may have experienced shaking. The Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency also said the earthquake was not large enough to cause a tsunami threat on the island of Hawaii. They said, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center reports the earthquake that occurred at approximately 5.43 p.m. was not large enough to cause a tsunami for the island of Hawaii. There is no tsunami threat for the island of Hawaii. Reuters, USGS Hawaii Volcano Eruption, a magnitude 4.4 earthquake hit the region of Kilauea on Sunday since Hawaii Volcano Eruption, the earthquake hit just 8 kilometers south of Kilauea. Preliminary data indicates that the earthquake measuring a magnitude of 4.4 was centered in the Helena region of Kilauea. As in all earthquake, be aware of the possibility of aftershocks. According to Volcano Discovery, there have been a series of small aftershocks after the earthquake. The U.S. Geological Survey said earthquakes measuring magnitude below 6.5 are very unlikely to trigger a tsunami. Reuters Hawaii volcano eruption, volcanic gases rise from the Kilauea lava flow Uggs Hawaii volcano eruption, a series of earthquakes struck the area after the magnitude 4.4 earthquake. The most destructive tsunamis are generated from large, shallow earthquakes with an epicenter of fault line near or on the ocean floor. When tectonic plates move past each other, they cause large earthquakes which tilt or displace large areas of the ocean floor. The sudden vertical displacements over large areas disturb the ocean surface and displace water and generate destructive tsunami waves. The earthquake on Monday occurred close to the coastline, but was not a high enough magnitude to generate a tsunami. Lava flow from fissures in the East Rift Zone is continuing at an alarming rate in two new Fishers have appeared as residents have been urged to leave now. Fisher 7 and 8 remain the most active eruptive centers of the system, while Fisher 13 is the dominant source of lava entering the ocean, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports.